Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. Kone puts total leather, and we're underway here in Boise. Son who carried on first down. Again, face on with the carry, picks up three before Taiji Leach makes the tackle for Georgia State. So a fresh set of downs for Utah State at the 41. Williams throws it, has his man Royals. Tries to escape the clutch of a defender, can't do it. Gavin Pringle brought him down, but it's seven yards on first down through the air. They have two guys in to help protect in case there's pressure. Bring one of them out. Utah State brings just four. Now Granger has time over the middle, has a receiver as well. Gets his helmet knocked off, but he hangs on to the ball. Good catch by Kadarius Thompson. Who transferred to Missouri before this game, so they're without their leading rusher on the season, so a lot of that's going to go to Granger. But Granger lost the ball. It was a nice play by Francois to knock it out, and Granger really had no choice but to fall on for the loss. That's what Darren Granger can do as well, right? When the pass isn't there, pull it down and run and pick up some big yardage with his legs. Design run this time. Stiff arms a defender, brings him down to the 28. Dukes away from him, gets a big game. And a touchdown for Granger early. How about Darren Granger, the senior quarterback, playing his final game at the helm for Georgia State. His head coach, Sean Elliott, challenged him and said, this is the time when you make your mark. Possession of the day. They march right down on the shoulders of Darren Granger, and he finishes it off. Panthers up 7-0 early in Boise. A couple things, you know, it's kind of nice about it. It's great about this bowl game, right? You get it over with before Christmas. <laughs> you get home, you get to be with your families, and then you get to have this really awesome experience in, like, the most gorgeous stadium I've ever been around in. Beautiful, and a beautiful view, and a beautiful return from Terrell Vaughn. And it opens up running lanes. Williams to throw. Going to the end zone. Has a receiver open. Caught. Touchdown. <laughs> what Jalen Royals, his 15th of the year. Aggies on the board. This ball, a little bit underthrown, but watch the adjustment by Royals on the outside. Going up, and if you want to talk about catching with your hands, 55 yards and the touchdown running the football in terms of what he was responsible. Look at that hole. Brock free to midfield. To the 40, 30. Defender has an angle on him, but not until he gets it all the way down to the 15. Simeon Harris finally ran him out of bounds. How about this? Really good vision, and I mean, there is just no defenders there. Freddie Brock on that run, he just surpassed his season total on the ground. Yeah, look at these splits by the guards. I think it makes it hard for a linebacker to decide where to go here. Now the tight end comes in like a guard, and Grange goes over the top <laughs> for the touchdown. Wow, all right. You don't need to run through holes if you're gonna jump over them. He said, look, Darren Granger did not have that great of a second half of the season. He didn't. He goes, and I decided, like, look, during this bowl prep. Incomplete pass brings up second down and 10. Williams rides it into his running backs. Bread basket, and he's got a lot of room to run. Still on his feet, oh, both might score. And he does. 65 yards. Devon Booth. Puts Utah State within one point of nodding this game up once again. Good blocking on the outside. You get a really good block by the tight end. And, and there's, just, I mean, there's, I don't know where anybody else is. But they got out. You know, the past two games, he's also had two touchdowns through the air. Granger, all kinds of room to run. Brings it back near side. Has a block from a receiver downfield. All the way down to the 26. They're going to bring that running back out in front or the pitch man out in front. In this case, it's the wide receiver just to occupy the outside linebacker. You see everybody overran that play and they're you know, look at Tyleek Williams in that slot towards the top of your screen. They love getting him on the quick passes. Granger looking that way. Can't find anybody open. Now he finds Williams at the 10. Inside the five, he'll score. Sound catch of the year. Yeah, and look at this protection, right? Not a lot of pressure at all. And a good delivery. Move the linebacker a little bit with his eyes. To Darren Granger and delivered a strike. And Darren Granger, right? How has he performed today? Well, he's eight for eight for 78 yards and a touchdown.
77 yards on the ground and two touchdowns running. I mean, this is this is a first quarter to remember. <laughs> By Williams in that call now, setting up the Aggies. Fake to phase on Williams now flushed. Got to the edge, dropped at the 25. And Granger now back at the helm. Pitches it out to Brock, and he's got a lot of room to run. Brock extending his wonderful start to this day in the Utah State Territory. Stiff arms the defender, but gets it all the way down near the 20-yard line. What a day for Brock. And this is a true speed option, right? You see the inside players, good job by the tight end, getting the arc block on the deep on the outside man. And then just speed. What a day. Now they're gonna bring it off the top. Williams, that's a nice pitch and catch to his receiver. It looked like it was run by Terrell Vaughn, but big conversion by Utah State. Now Williams looking to take advantage. Oh, it's picked off. Inside the 15, Ronald Cooper. In the second quarter, and just he you know, does not see the safety playing that star position lurking out underneath the outside route. And you see, he just kind of drops off of that hook route and does a great job of playing to the outside curl. Easy interception. No problem for Rickman. Pressure initially picked up. Granger now trying to sidestep, but it does. Out beyond the third, he thought about sliding, knew he had to get to the first down marker, though, and wisely stayed up and picked it up. Back end by Utah State, made the most he could with his legs, picked up the first. Brock, look at that hole. So good. Sidesteps the defender and picks up another 12. Mike Larson finally dragged him down, but not before Georgia State picks up another first. I think Georgia State does a good job of, of organizing the play, right? To do those deep in cuts where they have light boxes, just like there. Ken right on the money on the short pass. And you get a, line, a running back on a linebacker matchup. That's a win for Georgia State. Ranger going to the end zone, has a receiver wide open, touchdown, Kadarius Thompson. Delivery, you see him in the slot. Just, I mean, there's the miscommunication. Green, the tight end, making another catch there. Eight yards on first down. Looks like Ranger was looking his way. Now the pocket is going to collapse, and he'll be sacked. A very timely one. Oh, they needed that big time. with pressure off the edge and they get to him. Fitzgerald again leading the charge. That young man watching film, but he has had a phenomenal day today. Now eight sacks on the year. Five sacks on the day, free play for Georgia State. Oh, what a catch by Thompson. Did he get his foot and bounce? No, they say oh, he's out. There's debate. Four down territory here for Georgia State as well. Pressure up the middle, going for the home run ball. And it's a touchdown to Thompson, his second of the day. 37 yards on a gorgeously thrown pass from Darren Granger. Right, right, the ball's in the air. This is a pure one on one, not terrible position by the defender, but just does a good job of giving a little bit of a hesitation. Vaughn from his own three. Good return out to the 35. That's where Levi Williams will take over. Passes, then incomplete passes on the day. Because he's only been off target twice. And he has a receiver open downfield. No way. And they connect at the 30. And like, he's not been, it's not like he has three passes. I mean, he's got 21 throws. He's throwing bombs. I mean, this one on the run, look at that arm strength. And a little bit underthrown, but great job. 500 total yards for the Panthers, and we're still in the third quarter. Rangers going to get tracked for a loss. 
his college football career is going to come to an end. He'll get on the mend to heal that foot. Look forward to his journey with the Navy SEAL. There you go, bring a tight end right up on that in between the center and the guard. I mean, that's super unusual. Look at that hole. Brock to the 20, inside the 10, finally brought down at the 5. So you bring the tight end up, and it just creates it creates a whole count, like a count that's wrong for linebackers. And and you have to adjust on the fly. You got to put Ben Chakula with a great seal block, too. That shirt senior from Austell, Georgia, Campbell High School. Here's Brock. He'll score. Made good on his big opportunity here in Boise. He's had some big games at Maine, hit 123 yards. Having bowls inside their home stadium, and that's one of them. So looking forward to that one coming up. Hillstead to throw. He's got a receiver open, and they hook up at the 40. Terrell Vaughn makes the grab. Nice catch by Terrell Vaughn. See, Mikhail just lays it out there really nicely. Soft throw. Gets an opportunity to push this one in on his own. Uh oh, it's going to roll the pocket and throw towards the end zone. Touchdown, Vaughn. Field. Vaughn in motion. Wilson looks near side, trying to get it to Royals. Did he get a foot in? He did. Oh, they got it. Like kick, and they got it. Can't advance it. So they'll blow it dead. No fumble on the play. And this is what Coach Anderson talked about the course of the year. Let's check out this onside kick. Really well executed. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Got the bounce you needed. Booth in the backfield with him. Play clock winding down. Double team to the bottom of the screen. He's got it off. Hillstead can run for it if he chooses to, and he does. Ah, but he didn't turn up. I don't think he got it. He didn't get it. Giving a well-deserved ovation to Darren Granger, not only for his performance today in this game, but also his career. Brock continues to just pile on the rushing totals. Another first down. Give to Brock. Big hole. Okay. Down inside the 20, down to the 12. Dude, he's going to have three. He's, he's going to have, have close to 300 yards rushing. This year has been felt by that entire city of Boston. They got the potatoes ready. Oh, it, oh, look at the, <laughs> oh, the <laughs> coach Elliott got the uh, French fry bath. As is the tradition here at the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Now wait for now we find which offensive line is going to eat one of these things, right? Like there's going to be someone who eats these old smushed up French fries. Just can't take it anymore. Hey, when you, when you talk about famous Idaho potatoes, there's no such thing as old, smushed up Sorry. French fries. That's true. They're always a treat. Give something. Try to take a red so I can breathe.